Hello and welcome back to Crash Bandicoot 2. If you're truly really lost and you're the mad, I love the flows is Armage of Spiffin and Glutate 2, Boxes Mad Monkey, this fact is 13. And the Orange Guy. Last time we only did Cold Heart Crash because uh, the death ride was horrendous. Anyway, this time, Ruination. It didn't really help that the last. the bonus level also had the hidden box. Anyway. I think this one had a, a green crystal right, if I remember correctly. Where did I get that from again? It's your level? I think this is your level. Oh god, this fuck. Ooh. Well, that works. I was afraid of something far worse. Like that, for example. Get that. Alright. How many lives did I start that last level with? Because I have a raging suspicion that I gained more lives than I lost. Which makes no sense to me. Because I lost a lot of lives. Ah, see? Nitro. I made a reference to this in uh, the previous Ruins level. Road to Ruin, I believe it was called. Whoop. God fucking damn it. I don't like this type of level. Let's go somewhere else. Somewhere nice and warm and sunshiny. Where I don't accidentally do moves like that and die. Yeah, that sounds nice. I didn't remember if there are any boxes on the screen, crystal right, green gem right, whichever. I don't think there were. Well, there might have, may have been. I did not currently gain any information in that regard. Oh well, at least I'll see it approaching me. So, timing will be easy. So I say when I almost missed the jump. Right. Alright. That fucking damn it. I hate this level. Okay, there are no boxes in this cell. So there is that. Which of course means there's no chance of me getting a checkpoint in this area for dying so much. Also, I did die so much. <laughs> you can see that from my double uh, mask. I died enough to get a mask for whenever I spawn here. Isn't that nice? That means I died a lot. Joy. Oh, well. On the plus side, I don't have to come back here. Ever. Again. Tell me you take me back to where I was. You don't. Fine. I can work with that. See? I worked with that. So that was the worst idea I, I ever had. I should not have done that specific move. That could have gone so badly. But it did not, so at least there is that. Oh fuck no. Oh well. This is what we are facing. I only get one. Fine. There we go. At least I'm getting the majority of these boxes. <sighs> but they are a nightmare to get. Come on. Oh joy. I forgot about this one. Oh shite. I also forgot about that. 
should have just stayed at the top. That was the safe zone. See? See? Like this. And then done that. There would have been no trouble at all. On the other hand, this here is a lot of trouble. Almost forgot what I was doing. I think the technique was to actually get in the middle of both of those parts and then uh, break the ones below. Let's get back there, like this. And here we are. Excellent. Now, that was the wrong move. It's certainly well enough for now. This should be the right spot. This should break the other half as well. And then once I go below, I can just start moving again like this. And booyah! Lots of lies. For me. I'll spend them wisely by dying a lot. For no reason at all. Wait, that's not wise. Get them it. Right then. Bye bye, my boy. Shit. No. Oh my God. That worked. No. Uh, that also was sufficient. Ah, now this here may kill the enemy, but it may not kill the enemy. It killed the enemy. Good. It's a very much a 50-50 chance, depending on where he was when you hit the bugs. Seriously. At least the difficult area did not have these. Because these been in all sorts of directions. Yeah, and now we are up to where I was before. Joy. Ah, there's this scenario, which I also once mentioned. There we go. Now jump on that, jump on that, and we're going on. Or close enough to it. Oh. A parallel monkey in the main level. That's... Not seen before. Interesting. Alright, now I should have both the gems and the crystal. Opposition is being masterminded by Dr. Nitrus Brio, the inventor of the Evolvo Ray. Brio was responsible for our misunderstandings in the past. He forced me to assist him in his plot for world domination, and he's at it again. He will attempt to stand in our way. Be on your guard, Crack. Use the platform to deliver the crystals to Engine. Alright, I'm supposed to give the crystals to engine. Let's do that then. Like Dr. Cortex said, give the 20 crystals you have collected to me. Apparently I'm not going to do that then. Instead I'm going to throw Moopa fruit at him. Take my fruit. My fruit are your lord and savior. Don't do that. That would have been terrible. Makes me feel tempted to go to the first floor and get some extra masks just to be safe.
Don't use your hand for anything, please, so I can... God damn it, you have to use your hand for something, didn't you? You're an asshole, engine. But that's fine, because you have a rocket in your head, and that's awesome. The problem not very healthy. But who cares about health when you've got awesome? Come on. There we go. Use that. Now things go more interesting. Yes. If I remember correctly, this is the shadow chasing part of the Once we have destroyed uh, one of the. Wait. That damage. Let me skip back to where we were. That was right here, I think. So... The first stage of the rocket phase is uh, skipping shadows. Because the bot button that usually did the duck run thingy now shoots apples, as well as the button that uh, used to spin. Uh, this is a lot less simple to maneuver. I'm gonna just stand here in the middle so I can move wherever I need to move once the opportunity arises. Let's zoom this way. Yeah. Alright, there's one gun. Now comes the jumping phase. See, he sends one missile which goes at that height and I forget to skip and jump it. God damn it. Firing gold the oh well hello I did though I was about to say that firing gold those Wumper fruits at him reminds me of the fact that uh, Crash Bandicoot 3 actually has a Wumper fruit bazooka which fires Wumper fruits at my enemies. It's usually used for accessing hard to reach boxes though I think. Oh god damn it! String missile right there. Oh, and now this phase? I'd like this phase. I don't really remember how to fight him here. I think he comes up to me and then I try to get in as many Uber fruits as I can before I'm forced to run away. Where is he now? There we go. Oh, there he is. There he goes. Excellent. Alright, the final floor. Uh, what is your problem, Bandicoot? I will not ask you again to bring me the crystals. Obtain the remaining five crystals, Crash, and bring them to me. I'm still really curious as to what would happen if I took him all the gem, took all the gems. Oh, I can't ride it without all the crystals, can I? No. But what if I had all the gems when I first went up there? I need to try those, but that means um, uh, leaving. Rocket for last, so I can properly dedicate myself on the research. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Next time on Crash Bandicoot 2. The game has blessed me with a Uga Bugger, so I can just do this and call it a day. Let's carry on. God damn, there's a lot of stuff here, which I would rather not poke with my nose thing.